Today we're developing the pants style 8220. We're starting with our basic pant block. I've already got it opened up here, so I've saved it into the work storage area that I'm working from. And I've set up my workspace so that the paths are correct. First thing I'm going to do is create a shaped waistband. You'll notice that my blocks have got the darts cut out. So I'm going to lower the waist by four centimetres and create the waistband from those sections. So to do that, I'm going to go to create and offset even. In my offset even options here in my user input, I'm going to choose add and I'm going to choose extend to adjacent lines. So the new lines that I'm going to create, I want them to extend to the lines either side of them. And I'm also going to add this as an extra section within my pants. So my first user input instruction is to select the lines to off put or offset. You'll notice that I'm in cursor mode. So if I click on each of the lines while holding my control key, I can select them all. So well, just do that again. It's a bit slow to react. So one, two, three, four. And because I'm in cursor mode, I can start moving them. And then when I click both my mouse buttons together, it'll change me to value mode. It tells me the negative, positive directions. And I can see that I need to move in a negative direction. And the amount that I want to move is four. So I'm going to right click and OK that. And you'll see that those lines have extended to each end of the line where they intersect with the other lines that um, are the outside perimeters. So the other lines that I've created to make my waistband, once I've completed that, I can extract each of those pieces and then combine them to make a shaped waistband. So I'm under create, I'm going to piece extract, I'm going to click on the pattern piece, select the region I want to extract as that one and no additional adjacent ones. I'm going to allow it to name the name for me so it doesn't matter at this stage because I'm going to combine them anyway and create a new name for the combined piece. So clicking on the piece, clicking on the area I want to select, right click and OK, choosing the name, right click and OK, and right click and OK a final time to get my piece selected and extracted. I'm going to do the same thing for the back now. Okay, you'll notice that I've placed them next to each other because they're a little bit difficult to see um, which one belongs where if you just place them randomly on the workspace. So I've left them next to each other so that I can actually work with them closely. So I'm going to zoom in on those now. My zoom's not working, that's okay. We'll do F4 instead and then just zoom out a little bit. Okay, so you can see there's my two pieces for this panel and I'm going to join this one and this one together by going to Modify. They're pieces, so it's an action under Piece, Action and Combine. 
and you'll see here that it says select merge line and I can also select delete original pieces when I've finished with them so this is my merge line this one's my target line and once I place it down it needs to be named so I'm going to name it with my initials underscore 8220 and that will be let me just zoom out a little bit more my front waistband so if I WB so there's my piece shaped there now obviously it's going to need a bit of fixing up but I'll do that in a moment so my next pieces are the back waistband sections and again I'll go through the same process so piece actions combine combine pieces this is my match line this is my target line I've combined I'm going to name them 8220 back waistband and once I've um, oh, 8220 didn't work then 8220 that's better and okay and my original ones have disappeared so there's my two extracted waistband shapes now for this style we're going to add an extension for a fly so I'll need to make a left and a right waistband and the back waistband needs to be um, folded so on a mirror line here so I'll do those processes in the next video